minimum requirements for level 2. So that means level 1 we have completed. <coughs> All of you have completed level 1 either a course or somewhere you are familiar with this, uh, the basic concepts of Sanskrit or basic grammar of Sanskrit. So that is expected. And you must know how to read Devanagari script. We are not going to use transliteration or romanization or any other script. <coughs> so we are going to just read and read it in using Devanagari script. <coughs> so you must know how to read Sanskrit. So if you are not familiar with the Devanagari script, then please uh, go back and practice the Devanagari script. And the different workbooks are available. If you still want the links to download the uh, those workbooks, so please let me know in email. So I'll send the script again. But this is very important to know the Devanagari script. And then the preferably know to write Devanagari script also. The just reading is also enough. You just want to understand this class. But writing is also important if you want to write and reply to the homework, etc. <laughs> you want to practice. So writing is also important in Devanagari. And then should be familiar with level 1 topics, which we'll just quickly review. Just quickly review in today's class. And if it overflows to the next class, that's fine. We'll review the level 1 class, the level 1 topics. So that will give us some uh, something to start with. But should be able to understand very simple basic Sanskrit words and sentences. We'll try to do that. So, uh, now level one and level two topics, what are they? So what are these topics? So, the couple of things here. Uh, so, here the, there is one website which is dedicated for these classes. One is bhashabodha.com. If you go to, the, go to this website, if you go to the classes uh, link here, so here there is a Sanskrit, uh, this is the class list, and there is study topics here, study topics covered. So what are the level one study topics? What are the level study, study topics? You can check out, check them out here. So if you go to study topics covered here, uh, so you can look, look, look at these. So these are the level one study topics. <coughs> These are available for your reference anytime, so you can go there and check what are the level one and level two study topics. And then for our classes, there is a students area link at the bottom here. If you again, same classes link here on the top, the tab, and then at the bottom there is students area. If you click here, so here uh, I'll be posting the links. Uh, to homework and the mm, and the links and the uh, the recording links homework links and recordings any other topics will be posted here. <coughs> yes. So this will be this will be our uh, class or student area page. Okay. <coughs> And additionally, I'll be using this uh, this slide set along with that Bhasha, Bhasha Pravesha, the Dithiya Bhaga. We'll follow that. If you do not have that book, that's fine. So I'll try to put as much as uh, topics on the slides here, the study material on the slides. Additionally, depending on what we are studying in that, <coughs> there could be other reference books, like from the very old books, or which are uh, free books, which we could use. I'll, I, I can, I'll provide the links to those books as, as we progress through the topics of level two. Okay. Then, what else is there now? <coughs> Before I go forward, I'll just stop uh, for like a one minute. If you have any questions, you can ask. 
So as we um, raise hand on the screen. Sorry, to say the question again. So I muted, unmuted. Um, how to use the raise hand? There is a. Can you show us on the screen? Oh. Okay. Raise. raise hand. I should not. Don't don't use it. I mean, I won't be able to see the raise hand. So I'll just unmute. Um, the better not. There is a raise. Can anybody? So because when uh, raise hand can be used. Um, but I'll be able to see, look at that raise hand only during the breaks. So, um, if anybody else want to show how to raise hand, because I'm, I'm not used it before. Actually, raise hand is only in the app, not in the web version. Only if you have uh -huh. used the uh, application, then you'll be able to see the raise hand button. Uh, it's it's there at the bottom. If you look at reactions, if you click on reactions, reactions you'll see yeah. this hand as one of the options. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. So there are two options. Like one, if you are are you using the mobile app or the screen uh, computer? Sorry, can I repeat? 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 ओके ब्राउज़र मध्य पे आती है ये देने वाले बगैर नहीं या सर आई विल बी टेक व्हेन आई टेक द ब्रेक आई विल टेक लुक एट दैट रेज एंड इफ यू रेज एंड इट्स फाइन अदरवाइज यू कैन जस्ट अनम्यूट एंड टॉक महोदय व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप लिंक कुत्र आती हाँ हाँ हम प्रेस आए मित्र अनंतर मर्गा अनंतर हम आई विल सेंड इट इन द ई Okay. I guess no other questions at this stage. All right. So basically, uh, in the level one, the based uh, very uh, basic topics are there. So. here i'm going to show you okay so i guess you can see this right hmm. so table of contents from a different book so parichaya that's how we want to introduce ourselves pada parichaya ha introduction to words vocabulary is important people who are new to this so let me try to uh, zoom in zoom out zoom in okay so uh, inter vocabulary is important especially for new <coughs> who are new to sanskrit conversation vocabulary is important but as we go the books the topics themselves the lessons themselves contain new words so <coughs> like uh, anything what we see or use in the uh, in our day to day life like a tv fan table chair etc follow the, all these words we need the vocabulary so these will be there in the books also plus additionally it is advised which you have already done in, in level 1 i think but you are advised to use them more and more in your sentences now samipam uh, dooram now let's go with the parichaya so what is parichaya uh, what kind of sentences we use for parichaya so like bhavatah nama kim bhavatyah nama kim so this is very the introductory sentences introduction what we do parichaya means introduction uh mama nama we will start with mama nama sanjeevah bhavatyah nama kim bhavatah nama kim so you can these are the simple sentences we use so you should be familiar with these kind of conversations right mama nama what is what is what is the meaning of nama kim etc okay then we have uh <coughs> linga vichara the important thing about in sanskritam is linga 
और जेंडर लिंग विचार लिंगम तो हाउ मेनी जेंडर आर देयर इन लिंगम एंड लिंगम इज एप्लीकेबल टू व्हाट दैट इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट देयर आर थ्री लिंगम पुल लिंगम स्त्री लिंगम एंड अपोसक लिंगम थ्री जेंडर्स द पुल लिंगम एंड दीज लिंगम आर एप्लीकेबल टू वर्ड्स नॉट टू द ऑब्जेक्ट इटसेल्फ द ऑब्जेक्ट इटसेल्फ कुड बी लाइफलेस अचेतनम and chetanam also with the life chetanam so in either case the lingam could be pull lingam stri lingam or naponsaka lingam uh, that is masculine sling so these are uh, the lingam or the gender is applicable to the vastu or the padartha not the object itself uh, sorry not the padam not the padartha to the uh, word itself not to the object indicated by the word like we have uh, kanduka that's a pullingam and then there is a um, stri lingam what is a stri lingam or pitika table and naponsaka lingam is there also there agnihi fire pullingam naponsaka lingam is what hmm. kopi is stri lingam duravani stri lingam and uh, what is the example for the naponsaka linga word like phalam or patram or naponsaka linga and where is achetanam chetanam chetanam or living beings obviously pullinga stri lingam is easier but there are also naponsaka linga words in even in the chetanam or living beings so this we should understand and we should be able to use this lingam uh, for those words appropriately remember that uh, while we are conversing in sanskrit or trying to converse in sanskrit if there are mistakes are bound to happen but that's not a problem but i should not stop anyone from trying to converse in sanskrit or converse or doing anything or writing or reading anything in sanskrit uh, do not we should not be scared or afraid of these <coughs> mistakes but it is also important that we should also learn from the mistakes and correct them uh, eventually now the other topic is samipam duram near far which we have studied right that other words which saha esha kah sa esha ka tat etat kim so there are two types of words there are two types of words in uh, sanskrit language one is noun other is uh, verb nama padam kriya padam nama padam uh, indicates some some vastu eh? something kriya padam used for the uh, as a verb or action in nama padam there are um every nama pada <coughs> this again every every revision which i do not i expect that you know this already so this is just a revision like every nama padam is a prakruti is made up of uh, it has a prakruti or a mula shabda even a kriya pada also has a prakruti so in case of nama padam prakruti or the mula shabda is called pratipadikam prakriti in case of nama padam is called pratipadikam so what are the examples of nama padam the one you are saying here what whatever we use in our sanskrit language everything all the nama padams they are all nama padams for example saha esha kah sa esha tat rama balaka etc all these are nama padam but all of these every every nama padam has a prakriti or the mula or the pratipadikam and on on top of that a pratyaya is added or the suffix is added to bring it into a usable nama pada form yeah. nama pada means they are all usable nama pada and kriya pada both are usable forms in the sanskrit language but as per the grammar of sanskritam every nama padam when it is in the usable form is made up of prakriti which is called pratipadikam and a pratyaya or a suffix 
And similarly, uh, every Kriyapadam is made up of two uh, parts. One is Prakriti, again Mula part, which is called Dhatuhu, Dhatu in that case. And again there is a Pratyaya there, a suffix. So there are two parts for either for Namapadam and Kriyapadam, Prakriti and Pratyaya. Prakriti for Namapadam is called uh, Pratipirikam, Prakriti for Kriyapadam is called Dhatu. And this Lingam, Lingam, Pullingam, Lingam, this is applicable only to Namapadam. Kriyapadam in Sanskrit, they do not have Lingam. So uh, Kriyapadam form can be used with uh, Namapada of any Lingam. The Kriyapada form will not change. Some of the examples which we saw in level 1 here Namapadam, the basic ones are Saha, Sa, Tat, Esha, Esha, Etat, Kaha, Ka, Kim. Right? Saha uh, and Sa, Tat, these are used for the words which are closer and Esha, Esha, Etat, words which are, sorry, the other way. Saha, Sa, Tat, which are far, far away and then Esha, Esha, Etat, closer, Kaha, Ka, Kim are the questions. Uh, Kaha means who in the Purlingam, Ka, Srilingam, Kim is who in the Naponsaka Lingam. Right? <coughs> then, these are the Bahu Vachanam also. So, we also looked at Vachanam also. So, how many Vachanams are there? So, uh, there are Let me open. So anybody want to volunteer with me? Just one person or two persons for this uh, to understand what is and to like it becomes like a question answer kind of thing. Anybody want to like when I say what is how many vachanams are there? It would be nice if somebody can answer. Um, Sanskritam um, 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 uh, uh, somebody raised the hand. I don't know how to see who raised the hand. Somebody, anybody raised the hand? Did. Okay. Is that? Huh? You can see the chat box. People are answering there. This is the chat. Where is the chat went? Uh, okay. Oh, here. Yeah, I volunteered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sheila. Yeah, okay. I see. Yes, okay. Sheila. Yeah, so <laughs> Surik Mahari Pagini said there are three Vachanams, um, three numbers. Uh, again, I do not want to, I'm not going to translate every word into English. Three Vachanams, three ni Vachanani, and uh, which are they? Pulingam, Estrelingam, Nakunsakalingam. No, no. Vachanani. Yeka Vachanam, Tipajanam. And Divachanam, Bhavachanam. Eka Vachanam, Divachanam, Bhavachanam. And these are applicable to both Namapadam uh, and Priyapadam. Mm. So also, she said, Dhrivachanam is Vishishya Sanskrita Bhasha Ayam Asti. Sanskrita Bhasha speciality is, it, it, there is a Dhrivachanam. So when there are two quantities of an object, so Dhrivachanam has to be used. So Dhrivachanam is for Namapadam also and Kriyapadam also. And both, I mean, all the Vachanams are for Kriyapadam and Namapadam also. Dhrivachanam Vishishya Sanskrita Bhasha Ayam. It means in Sanskrita Bhasha. And Actually, Divachana is also exists in some other languages, but that's a different topic. 
But now, Bhavachanam, um, sorry, also she said, uh, this uh, linga is not applicable to uh, kriyapadams, but kriyapadams also have vachanam. Okay? And kriyapadams, vachanams, they follow nangapadam. That is obvious because, uh, maybe not be obvious to some uh, who are new to Sanskrit, that is, if uh, uh, if the namapadam, the word, the person, the basically, the, what is the what is the construct of a sentence here in Sanskritam? What is the construct of a sentence? How what is the sequence of the uh, words in a sentence in a Sanskrit sentence? Well, usually, a sentence, the parts of the sentence are identified by their role of the word in that Sanskrit. Yeah? Sorry, in, the, in that language. For example, uh, the role, which are the basic roles? They are the basic roles are subject and the kriyapadam. Subject means the kartru, kartu or karta, who is the subject. Okay? Um, one who does the action. The action is the central part of a uh, vakyam or a sentence, action or the verb. Or the kriyapadam is the very central part, heart of the sentence. <coughs> so because of the verb or the action, a vakya is used or a sentence is used. Now, verb, for example, if you say, for example, let's say, let's say take a simple example, gachati. Hmm. Gachati. Or let's say, pathati. That is, to start it is, pathati reads. Patati is the uh, verb, and now the question arises, who? Right? Who? We need a karta or kartri, if it is feeling. Well, who is reading it? That is the subject. So subject, the subject is like, uh, for example, balakaha. Balakaha or balika. Balaka patati. So this is the subject or karta. This is a verb, and it could be also there could be also an object in the sentence or on what the kriya is being done. So we say balakaha kim patati balaka pustakam patati pustakam patati. So this is the general uh, composition of a sentence, and this is the usual order of the words in a sentence, in a Sanskrit sentence. So subject, object and verb. Subject in the beginning, <coughs> verb usually at the end and object in the middle here like this. So this is the general sequence. So if we take this sentence, the pathati, the verb, is in singular. It doesn't have a lingam, but it has a vachanam. It is a singular in nature and I mean, singular in number, ekavachanam, and balakaha, who is doing that action, is also in the ekavachanam. Right? This is important. So, vachanam is there, but balakaha is in pullingam, but pathati doesn't have a lingam. Okay? <coughs> and there is, that the other aspect is that, these order is not fixed in, generally it is not fixed in Sanskritam, in a Sanskrit sentence, it, there could be Shuffle. So this pustak can come first, balaka can, can come next, patati can come very fast, and so on. But that could happen any time in conversation also, but generally it happens in the poem, in a padya. But to uh, easily understand, generally easily understand the meaning of a sentence and to easily uh, grasp the meaning, this is should be the general sequence, no? subject, object, verb. Uh, so we have this sahasatat, we saw that, te te tahatani, esha esha yata, te te tahayatani, bhavan bhavati, bhavan tahavatyaha, eka vachana bhavachana, etc. We saw that, tom, yuyam, etc. aham, vayam. And vi vachanam, in some classes, we have seen that. Some of you are familiar with that. So, because in this, I have shown only Ekavachanam, 
and this is the atra dvivachanam so ekavachanam dvivachanam oh, sorry this is bahuvachanam ekavachanam bahuvachanam dvivachanam yes uh, it is there and many of you already know that but uh, if you know that it is good right? but it is also possible uh, to bypass that dvivachanam and just use bahuvachanam or ekavachanam in that case uh, which we have seen in level 1 uh, like using dvayam dvayam as the suffix for uh, namapada like for example if there are two fruits then you can say phaladvayam phaladvayam it is also possible to say phale phale is the dvivachana form of phalam okay phale then if you want to say two fruits are falling then because this is dvivachanam then we also for falling also we have to use the dvivachana form of uh, patati which is falling right so because the the kriya pada vachanam and the nama pada vachanam has to match the nama pada means which is doing that action has to match uh, so phale patataha like that we have to use but if if it is difficult to remember if you can remember and it is good to remember but if we can't remember it's or uh, difficult to remember it other for other way to use it like this phaladvayam there are two dvayam means there are two phaladvayam in this case this becomes ekavachanam so what we are saying here is couple of fruits so that couple is a set it's one set so this becomes uh, one couple or one set so that becomes a single object so together two of them okay, together is falling couple of fruits is falling okay. so phaladvayam patati so the singular or the ekavachanam form of Uh, kriya padam is also should be used in this case because this is singular ekavachanam so dvayam here this remains a naponsaka lingam because when we add dvaya that becomes always a naponsaka lingam phala dvayam even if there are two uh, uh, two male people who are going so like say balaka two pe- two boys are going so even even then if you add dvaya then it becomes an aponsakalingam balaka dvayam balaka dvayam gachati <coughs> okay so that is one thing you should know and then i i was just trying to list here list out here what are the general words we use during the simple conversation so it's still not complete just try to use rasti nasti kim va kimartham idanim kadaa tada katham krupaya like this katham means so kimartham why idanim nau kada van tada then asti nasti i think you know already now kim kim has a has has two meanings so one is that kaha that we saw before kaha kaha ka kim to so, kaha balakah ka balika so those are the skilling of pulling but uh, kim 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 pustakam means which book yeah? that we also use now kim also is is also used as a uh, question word because there is a kim there is a avem also <coughs> one is the this napus kalinga kim and there is a way kim which is for the question prashna uh, kim bhavati kim tam agachasi kim bhavan pathasi uh, kim bhavan pathati means uh, are you going to read <coughs> one is that kim kim bhavan kim pathati what are you reading that is a different kim but kim bhavan pathati are you reading that is another different kim So there are two ways to use kim and then uh, 
वाट वेर द अदर टॉपिक्स यार कहा का किम शुभाश या हा वी नो ऑलरेडी अस्ति नास्ति किम व्हाट हैपेन हियर अस्ति नास्ति किम आम ना व्हिच वी टॉक आम मींस यस राइट आम ना मींस नो बाय द वे Om is also used for yes. Yeah, Om is looks sounds to be like a arvachya. I mean, most I mean the recent times, but generally in the modern ones we see Om also. Om for yes, not not that pranamam Om. Pranamam only, but used in the sense of uh, yes. And then atra tatra anyatra sarvatra kotra. If any questions, you can unmute and ask. Uh, did I put you? You're not on these individual ones. Atra, tatra, anyatra, kutra, sarvatra. Everybody is muted. Not on lecture mode, so you can unmute and ask. Atra here, tatra there, anyatra somebody somewhere else, elsewhere, sarvatra everywhere, kutra where. That is the question. Bhavachanam, pullingam, bhavachan strilingam, bhavachan upon strilingam, shasthi vakti, which we saw tasya etasya tasya ha asya nama bhavataha nama shasthi vakti we saw right shasthi is a possessive. Uh, something belongs to something, so you shasti, Ramasya, uh, Ramasya Bana, Ramasya Dhanu, or Balakasya Kanduka, like that. And Ved, Vaidyaya, Vahanam, etc. We can use. Tasya, 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 etc. Kasya, Kasya, Purataha, Prishtataha, Dishavachaka, Purataha, Prishtataha, Mama Purataha, Kimasti, Sangana Kamasti. दूरवाणी अस्ति अस्त मृष्ट किमस्ति मम पृष्ठ द्वारमस्ति द्वार षड्रसा रुचि तो रसा के सी षड्रसा एनिबडी विच आर दिक्स टेस्ट एनिबडी रिमेम्बरिंग रुचि मधु चाकल वस्तु विदि बट वट दुचि इन इट वट इज रस इन इट So she was saying, lavanam is one ruchi, lavanam. Lavanam, cut to. Amlam. Maduram. Maduram. Jambira. Jambira. What is jambira? Jambira is a phalam, not ruchi. So jambira, cut to. Rasaha. कटुर्ट 
लवण मधुर कटु आम्लम और एंड टू मोर कारवेल्लम इज अ शाकम इट्स अ इट्स अ वेजिटेबल कषाय वर्तमान काल so kriya pada <coughs> we'll we'll look at that table a little bit later then uh, then basically this vibhaktis we studied all the vibhaktis in level 1 <coughs> so how many vibhaktis are there sapta vibhaktaya hai santi hmm sapta vibhaktaya hai santi seven vibhaktis sapta vibhaktaya hai now we'll look at the table uh, संबोधन में पार्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट भक्ति सो दर आर सप्त भक्ति संबोधन इज फॉर्म ऑफ फर्स्ट प्रथम भक्ति देन लुक एट द टेबल सह विना लुक एट सह विन दिस इज रिविजन इफ यू एनी क्वेश्चन इफ यू डू नॉट रिमेम्बर दिस प्लीज आस्क नाउ और यू कैन गो बैक and read the book or your notes or listen to this sahagana etc we are going to use these words uh, in our conversation and assuming that we all know these uh, for level 2 right the sahagana so when there is sahagana what happens <coughs> how do you use the in a sentence trutiya vibhakti trutiya vibhakti trutiya 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 सह Etcetera. And but Vina, there is a option. We have we have Dviti also, Truti also. Tunam Vina, Tunam Vina. You are not. Tena, Tena Vina, Tunam Tunam na chalati. Tena Vina is also there. There is a Trutiya. There is a Jalam Vina, Matcha na Jivati. So there are. Chena Jivati. So there are Dviti and Truti for Vina. Vina is without that you know already. Then we there is also Shigram Mandam Uchchayi Shanaihi. शीघ्रम मंदम उच्चै शनै फॉर फास्ट एंड स्लो यू नो ओके शीघ्रम वन सेंटेंस प्लीज वन शीघ्रम वन सेंटेंस शीघ्रम वदतु शीघ्रम आगच्छ हम शीघ्रम शी बहुत शीघ्रम आगच्छतु हम शीघ्रम आगच्छतु ओके मंदम बालिके मंदम गच्छतु शनि 
And katham is also a way. How? Katham. Uh, one sentence with katham. Chala chitram katham asti. Chala chitram katham asti. Yes, chala chitram sundaram. Sapta hasya dhanani, day of a week. Anybody want to put it in Chate? Sapta Sidanani. Banu Vataraha, Banu Vataraha, Mangala Vataraha, Buddha Vataraha, Guru Vataraha, Shukra Vataraha, Shinivasa. Okay, Shinivasaraha. Okay. Shinivasa. Okay. And Sankhyaha. Sankhyaha, Kati. Kati is how many? Right? Kati. Oh, Kati. Kati Sankhya Santi? Bhakti Sankhya Santi. Kati Sankhya Santi? Bhakti Sankhya Santi. So Sankhya, if you remember that... Uh, huh? Is there a word for infinite? Uh, endless number? Sorry? Is, there, is there, You said Katham. Are you asking any question? Or shab, yeah. Shabbing? Yeah, I said, how do you say infinite? How many numbers are there? You said, eh? One is infinite. How many numbers? No, Asankhya, no, Sankhya. Asankhya. Asankhya, okay. Ananta Asankhya, son. <laughs> Okay. Then, uh, uh, Sankhya numbers are there, Eka, Dvi, etc. that uh, we will use when we, when we are studying, I mean, when we, during our course we will be referring to numbers, so that will use. Sankhya is innumerable. Infinity is Anantam. Anantam, that's also correct, yeah. Uh, Mahadeya, what is the website you first told that, that these uh, reviews are placed in? Which website? Yes, it is. Reviews? Yeah. The website that you referred in the beginning. You have a website? No, this is like bashamauda.com. Is this your website? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, then. Then we have Samaya. Samaya. So hopefully you know how to read the Samaya. Do you know how to read the Bartadesh Okay, good. Then we have so Kada, Kada you know when, Kada right, you know is when, Kada Bhavati, Dasha Vadani, Asma Kata, Dasha Vadani Bhavati, Chaturthi Bhakti, Sarva Dasha Vadani, Chaturthi Bhakti, fourth case we study, we look at that, Kimartham, what for, Kimartham, 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 Sanskrita Bhasa Karani Yaha, why should we study Sanskritam, Kimartham, Kimartham, Balaka Gachati, Kimartham, Asmakam uh, patanam bhavati. Kimartham is for what? What for? Why? Kimartham. Kimartham. <coughs> Kimartham balika gayati. Then kidrusham. What kind? Kidrusham asti. Kidrusham asti. Uh, Himalaya parvata kidrushaha. So here kidrusham is not an avayam. It is a visheshanam. So it tells because Visheshanam Vishesha, you should know that, right? That we had studied in detail in level one, and most of you, are, I guess, you know. Vishesham Visheshanam, right? Something which is adjective, adjective Visheshanam. So adjective describing an ad, uh, a noun in Sanskritam has to be in the same lingam vachanam evakti, hmm? most of the cases. Same lingam vachanam evakti. So, here Kidrusham, uh, 
mute please mute noise coming so kidrusham kidrusha kidrushi and kidrusham so the three variations kidrusha kidrushi kidrusham means pullinga strilinga napunsakalingam so what happens is kidrusha like um, rama shabda so it becomes akaranta pullinga shabda so it takes those forms kidrusha kidrusha kidrushaha etc and strilinga also kidrushi like nadi shabda nadi nadya nadya it takes those vivartis kidrushi kidrusha kidrushaha and kidrusham is uh, like phalam kidrusham kidrushe kidrushani so like that it will take three it will take those forms so here kidrusham phalakam kidrusham phalam kidrushah parvatah kidrushi nadi kidrushi duravani etc those have to be used like that uh, uh, like for example adya kidrusham dinam asti dinam is naponsa kalingam so we use kidrusham dinam divasah is pullingam so if it is a divasa we use kidrushah divasah kidrushah uh, kidrushah shabdah like that we use those forms then there is sambodhanam is also obvious there then antah bahihi antah is inside bahi is outside so so there also we use for antah we, we use shashti bahi we use uh, panchami vibhakti for example antah grahasya antah uh, kim asti uh, chitram asti bahi bahi nagarat bahi vanam asti etc we can use hmm? then uh, sambandha vachak padani relationship that probably not that much important for level 2 but you should know that sambandha vachak padani mata pita putri putra uh, shala uh, mata maha pita maha snusha shashruh shashurah etc you should know that pitrushvasa uh, matrushvasa bhagineyah etc so those are relationships and kutaha taha itaha tataha so kutaha taha so this taha taha is used for as an as a suffix like to in, to indicate um, from like uh, taha uh, nagara taha nagara taha uh, vahanam agachati nagara taha yanam agachati विद्यालयतः विद्यालयतः विद्यार्थी आगच्छति देवालयतः जनाः आगच्छन्ति तथा तथा कैन बी एडेड सो इन एडिशन टू दैट वी हैव कुतः एज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वेयर इज अ क्वेश्चन राइट कुतः कुतः फ्रॉम वेयर कुतः भवान आगच्छति कुतः भवति आगच्छति एटसेट्रा can you itaha is from here tataha from there itaha uh, aham vidyalayam gachami tataha kim bhavati tataha tataha uh, udaharan tataha vahanam agachati something like that huh? then kriya padani bhutakala then bhutakale sma hmm? भूतकाले स्म सॉरी स्म सो दिस ऑल्सो विल चेक अ लिटिल बिट लेटर देन देन क्रियापदानी सॉरी तांत लेबंत तुमन्नंत रूपाणी ओके सो दैट विल सी व्हेन वी चेक द क्रियापद अद्यतन अद्य श्वह ह्यः सो दिस आल्सो योर फैमिलियर विथ आई गेस सो अद्य टुडे अद्य श्वह ह्यः अद्य अद्य कः वासरः अद्य कः दिवसः अद्य शनिवासरः अद्य शनिवासरः 
श्वः कह वासर भानुवासर भानुवासर हा हा कह वासर आसी शुक्रवासर लाइक श्वह बिकम्स परश्व टू इंडिकेट द प्रीवियस टू यस्टर्डे श्व परश्व सॉरी टुमारो परश्व इज डे आफ्टर टुमारो देन प्र परश्व डे आफ्टर डे आफ्टर टुमारो देन हेस्तन is yaha then parahya pra parahya and then the tana is added as a prefix note that this adya shwaha yaha these are all away but if you add tana then they become visheshan tana means which something which belongs to that day like adya tana shwastana hastana adya tana varta patrika so or just say uh, varta so artha is trilingam so adyatani artha so this adyatani becomes a trilingam because this is visheshanam we will have to uh, use that in the proper lingam so adyatani artha adyatanah um, if it is a pullingam then adyatanah adyatanam adyatanam becomes naponsaka lingam similarly shwastanah shwastani shwastanam like that विशेषण अद्यतनी वार्ता वाई एम से Use that separately and varta separately. Then you have to put adhyatani. Then if you but combine it to one word, if you get if you make a one word, then some of you are just samastha padam, samasa. Samastha padam. Then it becomes a single word. Then then that adhyatani is not required. So that uh, pullinga, sriinga, that uh, suff- prefix goes away. So it just remains a prati padikam adhyatana. So adhyatana varta. it becomes a single word but if you are using a separate words then you should use uh, the proper linga suffixes adyatanah in the pullinga madyatani and adyatanam in uh, naponsaka lingam if it is a single word then those are not required so adyatana vartha ritak pratak vadam cheteva adyatan adyatane vartha ati vaktavyam no chet adyatana कार्य रावण मारयति Uh, so eva that is uh, you say then hiti it is like this uh, iti padasya prayogam katham bhavat prayoga katham bhavati iti padasya vakye prayogam karotu anybody aham adya agachami iti mamma patihi uktavan Aham adya agachami iti. So it is like this. Then tu, tu, tu prayoga ha. Saale chiti iti uttavan. Puna vada ta. Sa devale am gachiti iti uttavan. Ah iti. Now what is the next one? Tu, tu prayoga tu. अहम तो संस्कृत पठा अहम तो प्रातः शयन कौम विरुद्धार्थक शब्द वी नो दैट लाइक अपेक्षया 
usage of x is also there. We will see that when it comes to there. Mm -hmm. Viruddhartaka Shabdaha, what are the examples of Viruddhartaka? Vamanaha uh, uh, Unnataha. Uchayhi Shanaihi. Uchayhi Shanaihi. Antaha Bahihi. Ah, Antaha Bahi. Purataha Pushtataha. Ah, Purataha Pushtataha. Then we have Dwayam. Then we have Dwayam. Which one? Stulaha Krushaka. Ha, Stulaha Krushaha. Dwayam Prayoga. Yatra, Tatra. Also, we have seen the Yatra. Yatra Rusti Bhavati, Tatra Jalam Nasti, Tatra Jalam Bhavati. Yada, Yada Prayatnam Karami, Tada, Safalam, Safala Bhavami, like that. Tada, Tada. Yatha, Tatha, Yatha, like that, or like that. Yatha, Tatha, Yatha, Yatha Prayatna, Tatha Falam, Dharan. Yavat, Tavat, Yavat. Tavat, Yavat, Kim, Yavat Abdasam Abdasaha, Narvati. There are some other examples also. Anybody want to give Yavat Tavat? Yavat Varsha, Varsha Asti Tavat, Tavat Ruksha Bhavanti. Tavat Ruksha Bhavanti. Tavat Ruksha Bhavanti. So, Yavat Tavat, one thing to note, just to, Varsha is generally used for season, Varsha Rutu. If it is just a rain, if you want to say, then we should use Rushti. Varsha Rutu, Rushti is for rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arjanya. Yeah, okay, then we have Yahasaha, Yasa, Yatat. So the similar they are pairs. Uh, Yaha Prayatnam Karoti, Saha, Safala Bhavati, Uttiyana Bhavati. Then Yasa similarly. I don't know what happens here. Uh, the icon next to it, Mahorya, the the four dots that you see, four arrows that you see, that is the. Okay. Yeah, we're a full screen. Uh, I don't That's want to full go full screen. screen. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, Adyapita Thapi. Oh, you know that Adyapita Thapi. Anybody has question on it? Adyapita Thapi. Yadyati Bhubukshanati Tatapi Aham Khadam. Okay. Yadyati Bhubukshanati means hunger, right? Bhubuksha. People who do not know Bhubuksha. Yadyati Ichanati Tatapi Khadam. Dantaha Pargantam. Dukravasarataha Shinivasara Pargantam. Prayanam Bhavati. Like that. Can you stop for him from front? Gata Agami Gata Saptahe Vargaha Bavat Na Bavat Agami Saptahe Vargaha Bavishati. Then we have this Parantu Kila Prayana Nishchayana, which we will see when it comes to the usage. Then Yataha Ataha, because therefore Yataha Ataha Yataha. Udaharanam kim bhavati yada vakyasya udaharanam yataha Yataha Ataha Ataha, Ataha is easy, right? Yataha Udhanam is like, you can use anything because, like, Aham Khadami, Yataha Mama Bhavukshasti. Ataha, 
मम बुभुक्षा अस्त अतः अहम खादा इधर वे कैन यूज लाइक अहम खादा वाय यतः मम बुभुक्षा अस्त मम बुभुक्षा अस्त अतः अहम खादा यदि तरी मतलब यदि इफ देन यदि समथिंग हेपन तरी समथिंग हेपन यदि वृष्टि तरी फल वृक्ष वृक्ष फलति यदि वृष्टि तरी वृक्ष फलति यदि अभ्यास करोमे तरी उत्तीर्ण भवामि देन चेत नो चेत नो दिस यदि तरी इन दिमिलर वे चेत कैन बी यूज चेत मीन इफ लाइक सो यदि इंस्ट ऑफ यदि तरी चेत कैन बी यूज एग्जाम्पल उदाहरण यदि यदि वृष्टि तरी फल वृक्ष फलति इंस्ट ऑफ दैट वी कैन से वृष्टि चेत फल वृक्ष फलति सो वी कैन रिमूव दैट यदि तरी बोथ एंड जस्ट यूज वन चेत वृष्टि चेत वृक्ष फलति कैन यूज लाइक दैट अदरवाइज अदर फॉर अदरवाइज वी कैन यूज नो चेत यदि वृष्टि चेत वृक्ष फलति नो चेत वृक्ष शुष्य वृक्ष शुष्य वृक्ष न फलति यदि वृष्टि यदि चेत वृष्टि चेत वृक्ष फलति नो चेत वृक्ष न फलति so these are some examples here and um, now there was another one last one there is va uh, which so previously i in this let's go back to the where is this hmm. Hmm. So we looked at asti, nasti, kim, etc. And the kim, uh, I said it is a question, can be used for like uh, asti, kim, hmm. adhya, varga, asti, kim, like that question can be used. But now, there, I had, uh, I had written in that contents of that uh, va is for var, or or, so not var, or, va, or. In Sanskritam, Y is used for R. Uh, so if I want to say Adhya Varga Bhavati, I want to ask the question, is there a class today or is the class going to happen today? So instead of asking Adhya Varga Bhavati Va, it is, it is better to ask or correct to ask Adhya, Adhya Varga Bhavati Kim. <coughs> this Va is not used like that in proper sanskrit nowadays the va has become the question mark which is not correct uh, so if somebody ask adhya varga bhavati kim now if the answer somebody doesn't know then the answer could be adhya varga bhavati vana iti na janami so adhya varga bhavati van adhya bhavati adhya varga bhavati vanava vanava or or just vana or na va like that va is a vikalpa or alternate or a or a or kind of thing so that can be used as a simple single sentence so if possible try to use it like that because many people are used to use va as a question mark uh, yes sir no hmm, hmm? Yes or no? Ah, yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah, so it is just, a, it just used as a, like as uh, Kartamo, they just used it. Adhya Shukrana Asra. Guruji. Adhya Shukrana Asra. Adhya Shukrana Asra Va, Shaniwa Asra Va. So if you don't know like that. Adhya Bahi Hei Rushti Bhavati Va Na Va. Guruji, I want to ask something. 
Hello. Yeah. I was not able to join on the last FCC icon app. Uh, just I could join. I was getting message that uh, host is not still arrived. It was uh, telephone like uh, icon on my laptop. Yeah, uh, let's talk about it after the class. Thank you for joining. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, we have 10 more minutes. So I just wanted to wrap up with one impo important thing that declensions here. So for moving forward for level 2, the or knowing that these tables is very important because while conversing in Sanskrit, we are going to use all these uh, different forms of different words. So uh, these words we have studied, these forms also we have used, I mean, not the extensively, in level 1, everybody has used these uh, different forms, may not be in dvivachanam, okay? may not be in uh, this dvivachanam, but ekavachanam, bahuvachanam, everybody should be familiar. So, uh, <coughs> please, please, just take a look at these tables uh, thoroughly and try to practice them and there is no, uh, and if needed, um, remember them by heart. Okay? So there is nothing wrong in uh, doing this, uh, what you call by heart, learning them by heart. So if uh, it will be needed. So it will be better to do, uh, do them. If you can't remember, just do them, repeat them so that you remember them. So this one, uh, so because, and also remember in what context they are used. For example, and people who are new to this Sanskritam conversation, they will by practice, once we start using them, you will become, become more and more familiar. But at the at least at the base level, you should know, uh, like for example, like the context here. This Pratama Yagatti means what? Second, Diti Yagatti means what? Like look at Rama like this. Ramam, Pashyatu, Pustakam, Pashyatu, Pustakam, Pathatu. Okay? Ramayanasa, Vichami, like that. You should know the basic usages. So go back to your books and uh, re revise these usages. And also remember these, um, try to remember at least as far as possible these different forms of some of the words. Which are those words? Akaranta, the one ending in A. Uh, like Rama, Balaka, these are Pullinga Shabda. The one ending in A, like Rama, Uma, etc. And then the one uh, streaming the word ending in dirgha e, like Nadi, okay? uh, Duravani, etc. Saraswati. These are, these are the very basic three words you should know. And there are a few other words also, uh, which if you know it is good. But these are the basic three words, three types of words one should be very familiar with. So these are also on this, I put them in this, on this uh, slides. And um, you might have some books also uh, which provide these different declensions or evaptis, evaptis tables. And if you, if you don't, uh, any question? Yeah, where, where can we find these slides on the web? Your slides? No, slides, yeah. slides, I'll send you the link, okay? Oh. Uh, but, but however, you might have some books also. The slides are given only just uh, two, three, uh, where, where is the slide? Sorry. Yeah, two, three types only. But all the, all the uh, different words, you should have some book also, and there is, there is another website uh, there, which I'll send you the link here, my blog site. So here also there are a couple of resources. One is resources with a tab here on the top. So if you, there is one first one, Shabda Manjari. Okay? The Shabda Manjari, this is a downloadable PDF book. Okay? You can download it. It has all the different forms. Uh, that's our PDF book. Then, uh, <clears throat> then other option is if you, which is a handy online option. So there is a grammar tab on the top here. So in the grammar tab, yeah. all the forms are available online, which will be very handy. Oh. So you go to, for example, 
Yeah, so this is a grammar tab on the top. So go here, this is Varnamala, and if you go here, Nama Pada Rupani, noun forms. Ajanta Pullinga Shabdaha, Rama, Hari, Rama, Mati, etc. These all these are there. So these, uh, if you want to listen to it, you can, uh, I just chanted them. Yeah. You can listen otherwise. You can click on this Rama, Hari, etc. For example, if you click on Rama, it will show all this. Uh, all the. Huh? Adanta is Akaranta. Yeah, Adanta is Akaranta. Akaranta Pullinga. Yeah, I saw Adanta. I never heard that. Yeah, I, Adanta. I always hear Akaranta, but not Adanta. Uh -huh. oh, I'll explain that later in grammar one. Um, this Akaranta Pullinga Ram Shabda. So, all you are listed here. Hari, Akaranta. So, if you want to refer to this, this is also good. Whatever resource you have, you can refer to that. So just become familiar with this, it is important. So there is another one site uh, I am using, Shabda Ruva Mala by Professor Madan Mohan Cha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, there are many, there could be apps also, fine, yeah, there it, could be apps also, you can... Mm. It contains almost all uh, for, right. uh, for our everyday use. Yeah, so there are books, there are... To, yeah. um, there are books, you can... That website that you are referring to, the other website. Which one? Like, uh, the gentleman who just said he uses another website. Hmm. I, I think he said he is using a book. Shabda Ruba Mala. Shabda Ruba Mala, there is a book. It is a book and there is a book. Okay. Yeah, there and also there is a book called Rupa Chakraka. No, Madan Mohanja. And there is a book called Rupa Chakraka. Oh, sorry. Madan Mohanja. Mm -hmm. And there is a book called Rupa Chandrika also. And if you have any other books, there could be books which I can use. And there is a PDF downloadable on this book. Here are also resources. You can use anything you can use. Shabda Manjari. You can use, just be familiar with that. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, the other thing you should be familiar with is the uh, the Kriyapada Rupani. Yeah. The Kriyapada Rupani will take a quick look in the next class before we start the actual subject. We will start the we'll Pravesham Karishamaha in the next class to level 2. But b before that, Pravesha will take a quick look at this Kriyapada Rupani and then I proceed. But before I close, then the another thing that, where is that? Right. So here, if you go to grammar and if you see, look at these different forms, Rana, Hari, etc., for many, some of you, not all of you, some of you may be already familiar with these forms, which is easy for you to remember, but some of you who are like a starting or new, these forms like, oh, so many forms are there, how, how am I going to um, remember this? But it is not difficult. It's not difficult because they follow mostly similar pattern at different lines. Huh? So I have actually, I had made a video on that, uh, small presentation kind of thing, and then how these are similar and what at what, what positions they are, what cells so, similar. So I, I'll... I'll send you that link also, if, oh, what happened here. Yeah. So I'll send you that, so for example, this link. So you can go through this if you are interested. So it might make it easier and easier to remember understanding what uh, lines are matching kind of thing. Okay. So those are the different resources we have so f uh, as at this point for these yeah. topics. Hmm? What do you mean by vibhakti, vibhakti shum, uh, sadrushyam? What does that sadrushyam mean? Is, sadrushyam is similarity. Hmm? Oh, okay. Similarity. Okay. Sadrushyam. Vibhakti rupa is similarity. In the vibhakti forms, similarity is in the vibhakti forms. Hmm? Uh -huh. Comparison of vibhakti forms. So that is the one I have. So, 
All right, so we can stop here today. Or reach the time. Thank you. Very and nice class. Thank you. Very nice class. Thank you. We'll meet next. Yeah, uh, next week. Uh, if uh, any uh, class, uh, if uh, any uh, questions, uh, you can stay back.